He's submitting. Hi, it's 975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox. And today I thought I'd bring you a cautionary tale. Now, when we go out and pirating, if you have no cargo, you don't have anything to fear from the Dark Marauders. We will scan you, we will say you have no cargo, and then we will release you. We are not interested in killing people, on the whole. We will kill bounty hunters, we will kill for power play reasons. But if we are pirating you, and we say you have no cargo, you're free. We let you go. We don't have interest in killing you. And Polo's, you know, very anti-killing traders at any time. He will always give fair warning. In this voice conversation, he was stripping the guy's shields in his cutter. And he was like, you know, stop shooting or I will kill you. At which point the guy realized, hold on a minute. <laughs> don't really want to have this fight. And that's the thing. We are pirates first. We are also much nicer than most groups because we do tend to send a warning. You know, if you're an imp and you're wondering whether we're pirating you or killing you, it's made clear by the die imp die, or if you're a bounty hunter, the die bounty hunter die, or some such message that you'll get before we attack you, making it clear that we're attacking you and what reason we're giving for attacking you. Uh, but most groups don't offer that. Most groups just jump in and start attacking you for no apparent reason. You don't even know until afterwards what the reason you were being attacked for. And quite often there is no reason. Um, you know, a lot of groups will kill you because they enjoy killing you and killing you is the reason. Uh, it could be salt harvesting, they could just be killing for fun, sacrificing you to the gods of chaos, doing whatever they feel like doing because they paid for the game and they can choose to play their way. Um, we are the Dark Marauders, we have rules. We have a very simple rule that there's no killing for no reason and uh, because they had a really bad paint job isn't a good enough reason because we have had a few people in the past try it on so it has to be legitimately a decent reason and one of those is usually their bounty hunter the other one is usually their certain power player alliances you know that we generally will go after an attack but you know if you're in a trade ship and we elect to rob you it doesn't matter if you're our, one of our most hated enemies once we've started pirating you, we will actually do our best to keep you alive. We want the cargo, we don't want you dead. Um, and we've been very gentle over the years. We've robbed and pirated many members of IED over the years. And, you know, we've robbed them and then let them all go along their way. And we've also, you know, dropped in, scanned them and then said no cargo free to go. Because once we've initiated piracy, we're sticking to doing piracy. If we send you a message saying, die, bounty hunter, die, then it's pretty clear you should get that message. So, this incident happened, um, you know, recently. Me, Polo, were pirating in Clippers, and one guy decided to do something decidedly stupid. Um, I kind of felt sorry for him. I was a bit worried, because as soon as we interdicted him, he did launch a ship launch fire. And I had a horrible feeling he wasn't going to own the cargo and was going to start something. And that is pretty exactly what happened. Um, so I've got to say, I was surprised at the result. Um, because if you start shooting first, you've surely got to be quite confident. But, you know, uh, we'll watch this unfold. So you get a little bit from my angle, then you get Polo's point of view. And then you're back to, um, well, there's a voice reaction. As I react to... Um, what Polo did while I was looking the other direction and ramming the fighter. Um, yeah, so we interdict this guy, he gets full pirate role play all the way through. You know, he's told he's free to go and everything. Polo is very specific and types to all the messages that he needs to type to convey what's going on to this gentleman. And um, this gentleman instead decides to open fire on me, and at that point, it all goes Pete Tong very quickly for him. Ego is writing checks your body can't catch. So I switch it over Polo's view of the situation. Uh, you'll see the guy go purple as he shoots me, and then it all kicks off from there. 
Um, I ran through his fighter, and by the time I turned back around, well, you'll see, it's it was a bad decision on his part. It's, uh, yeah, <laughs> when you're up against two frag clippers and you don't have your full engineering done, probably shooting one of them is not a great idea. Um, <laughs> always makes me nervous when they deploy the fighter when you first interdict them. Always makes me think this is probably going to go wrong somewhere along the line. And for this guy, it went very, very wrong. His polo uh, protects his wingmates with maximum prejudice. I mean, it is probably brutal. And I think this person made a very bad miscalculation. This person believed that their ship and the ship launch fighter would be able to attack back. And that was a real, real miscalculation. And I'll leave you there. And so that's all. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll have a little snippet of Polo's voice for you. Target destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> I've recorded that. The younger shoot my fucking wing, mate. <laughs> Look, it was they're flawless. robbing all of the commanders.